Ever wondered why it's so hard to get accountability from a narcissistic partner? Imagine a scenario where a woman questions her partner's commitment. Instead of addressing her concerns, he twists the conversation, deflects blame, and even makes her question her own perceptions. This behavior is rooted in classic narcissistic traits, a profound lack of empathy, an inflated sense of self-importance, and a penchant for manipulation. These characteristics make true accountability almost impossible for narcissists. Understanding the core traits of narcissism can shed light on the frustrating dynamics of these relationships. Meet Sarah and Jessica, whose stories echo the struggles of many. Sarah had always felt a bit sidelined in her relationship, but it reached a tipping point one evening when she decided to confront her partner about feeling emotionally neglected. She hoped for empathy, perhaps even an apology. Instead, she was met with a barrage of accusations. Her partner labeled her as overly sensitive and needy, turning the table so swiftly that Sarah found herself apologizing for her own feelings. It was a classic move, deflect and divert to avoid any form of personal accountability. Then there's Jessica, a mother of two, who simply asked her partner to spend more time with the kids. His response? He accused her of not respecting his career. According to him, her request was an attempt to sabotage his professional life. Jessica stood there stunned as her genuine concern for family bonding was twisted into an attack on his livelihood. Once again, the spotlight was cleverly shifted away from his lack of participation to her supposed insensitivity towards his career. These incidents are not isolated. They reveal a common pattern where personal accountability is dodged and situations are manipulated. Narcissists have a knack for turning the lens away from their shortcomings and onto perceived faults of others. This deflection is not just a defense mechanism, it's a method of control keeping their partner second-guessing and off-balance. These stories are not just tales of strife, but beacons of awareness and understanding. Knowing is half the battle. What comes next? Once you recognize the patterns of narcissistic behavior, it's crucial to take steps to protect your well-being and empower yourself. The journey ahead is about focusing on your growth, not waiting for someone else to change. Here's how you can start. First, establish firm boundaries. It's essential to define what is acceptable and what isn't in your interactions. Clearly communicating your limits to a narcissist might not stop their behavior, but it empowers you to respond proactively when your boundaries are tested. Think of boundaries as your personal lines in the sand, which when crossed, prompt specific actions from you, like stepping back or disengaging from a conversation. Next, seek support. This can come from friends, family, or professionals who understand the dynamics of narcissistic relationships. Surrounding yourself with a compassionate network can provide the strength and perspective needed to navigate this challenging situation. Remember, leaning on others is not a sign of weakness, but a form of smart strategic empowerment. Engaging in self-care and spiritual practices is equally vital. Whether it's meditation, prayer, exercise, or simply reading a good book, Nurturing your spirit and body can help maintain an inner peace, crucial for long-term resilience. It's important to remember not to expect a narcissist to change. Instead, focus on your personal growth and how you respond to their behaviors. This shift in focus is empowering. It places the control back in your hands where it belongs. Empower yourself with knowledge, support, and self-care. You are not alone in this journey. Reflecting on what we've uncovered today, it's clear that recognizing narcissistic traits is the first crucial step. We've delved into how these traits manifest and the real-life impacts they have, not just on relationships but on personal well-being. Equally important, we've explored strategies for empowerment and self-care, essential tools for anyone moving forward from such experiences. Embracing these insights allows for a journey of self-discovery and resilience. Remember, the path to empowerment begins with understanding and taking action. You have the power to navigate this.